All right, now in the last video, we got it set up to where we could actually use and show you how to customize our site. Now I wanna show you how to customize the reticle and set that up, because currently that is super small compared to what it should be like. So let's go ahead and here we have our reticles. We're gonna go ahead and start with our triangle. So let's go to the triangle. And here you can see the, the uh, material instance for it. Here's our triangle. Now that's all it is. And if we look at the texture, you can see we have red, blue, and green. So this is optional. This is kind of if you want to tweak different colors or tweak the uh, material kind of on the fly, you have the ability to do that. So basically, red, blue, green, you can change all the colors. So you can change them to be whatever you want, so on and so on. And I'm going to revert that back to the default brightness. So we can be red, blue, green, yellow, white, it doesn't matter. So basically that's what that controls. So you can control all of that fun stuff. Basically the color, how much, like how emissive it is. So this is dull. Now it's crazy bright. And all that fun stuff. Revert that back to the default. And then you also have the bump offset. So let's see, where did the reticle go? There it is. So let's go to 10 10, and 10. And 10. So then you have the bump offset is basically how far away the optic is going to be. So if I lower this to something like zero, and then I try to aim, you can see it's still about the same size, but if I go left and right, it looks like the reticle is part whoops, of the glass. Like it's right there in the glass, which is not correct. That's a problem. So we want to revert that back to something like, what was it at before? negative 50. So now when I aim same size, but if I eject, you can see it's projected out in front a little bit. So then if we go back to the default value, so something like negative 750, and aim, and now we look at it, you can see it looks like it's way far out there. But that's basically to try to fix some of the parallax. So negative 750 isn't enough, so we would crank that back even farther. So something like negative 2,000. Now that's very small. As you can see, as we move side to side, the reticle doesn't move quite around as much. But basically you tweak that to get a result that you want. Now the thing that we want to tweak is going to be specifically the size because it is very, very tiny. So if I aim, press F8, here we have, whoops, we go down here, somewhere behind it, here we have all of our options. Make this a little bit bigger. So reticle size, we can bump this on up and find one that we like. So let's try something like 15 or 10. We can save it and then we have the overall brightness, which that should be influencing. Oh wait, no, I think I have it. Over. That has to be done at runtime for it to actually set maybe. I can't remember, but that's how that sets that. So that's a decent size. For that reticle, let's go to our next one, so our red dot, and switch to that. That one's actually not bad, so I'll leave it. Let's check our hollow site, or our EOTech. So that one's a bit small. And that's something I want to crank up. So there's our size. Let's bump this up to try eight. And that looks a good bit better. Then we just want to alter the brightness that we have. So default's going to be something like 5, 3, and 1. So, there we go. Decrease, increase. That, in my opinion, is a lot better. All right. So that is the basics on what you would do to adjust the normal site or like the normal red dot site, reticles, that kind of stuff. It's unrelated to the magnified optics. I will cover those in, in a future video when we actually get to creating a magnified optic. But for the time being, that's really all there is. You can tweak it, you can set the reticle, you can choose and change all the colors and all that kind of stuff. So very straightforward. And again, it's all controlled by what colors you use for the reticle. So here I use a red and a green. That allows me to change this red color, change its emissiveness, separate 
from these greens. So that's just basically how you would set up your reticle if you want to use these. If you don't, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Just leave it all unchecked. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But anyways, that pretty much covers everything about a sight. So in the next video, we're going to move on to the muzzle and go from there. So I'll see you in that video.